Hi, I'm Chris Vasquez, the Chief Product Officer at Aweber, and this is User Stories. Today's user story is, as a product manager, I want to make beneficial behaviors easier to do so I can help more folks do them and be successful. Every morning, I perform a beverage ritual where I go get a cup of coffee, dump a spoonful of sugar into it, and move on. I know I should drink less coffee, I know I should add less sugar to it, but it's hard for me to make a change here. Recently, Liz, my fiance, made a small change that had a big impact on how much sugar I take. She put a smaller spoon in the sugar bowl. When I get a cup of coffee, a lot of what I'm doing is just habit. After she switched the spoons, I still get my coffee and add one spoon of sugar into it. And although I noticed the swap, the benefit I saw in having more sugar didn't outweigh the effort of having to get a bigger spoon. I've cut the sugar I'm adding into my coffee by half thanks to a change in spoons. What Liz did here is called choice architecture. And this illustrates the potential that we have to impact people through small changes in the way we present options to them. We see this at Aweber all the time. When we add something new to a prominent place on the dashboard, hey, more people interact with it just by focusing more attention on the feature. This is an example of the same principle that leads supermarkets to place sugary cereals at kids' eye level. When we're thinking about how to shape people's behavior to set them up for success, consider how hard it is to get to the feature they need to interact with. It can have a major impact on behavior.